All right, I'm going to show you guys a few quick tips for working with what's called the patch tool. If you come over to your toolbar, you'll see that we have the spot healing brush, and below that we've got the patch tool. Now, Adobe gives us a lot of ways to heal things, to be able to do things like the you know clone stamp tool, working with spot healing or healing brush. The patch tool is one of my favorites for bigger areas because you get to do something like this. You get to select the bad by default and then drag it to good, let go, and what it does is it does a nice blend for you. So it's, it's really pretty cool, actually. So if I undo that and deselect, you'll see that I'm working on my a layer, a copy of my original layer. So if you select your original layer and you hit Control-J or Command-J, you'll create a copy. Now, we can't, with the patch tool, sample below or sample above like you can with some of the other types of tools that do this sort of thing. Now, so that's why we work on a copy. But here's a few little tips for you. You can go out and you can work with source, it's called which basically means you, you select the bad and drag it to good. You can also use destination. That means you select good and drag it over the bad and let go, and it's going to try and blend it in. Now, either way, you've got to test it out because it just depends on what's going on with the, the underlying content. Because if you look right here, you're going to see it didn't do a great job of blending it when it dropped it on top. So you have to, to really concern yourself with how it blends, basically. Now, let me undo that and deselect. So I usually use source, so I grab the bad and drag it to good. You can also go transparent. Transparent's really cool by selecting that up there. If I have source selected and I drag the bad, and you guys can see that I'm going a little outside here. I'm getting a little bit of blend area. This is probably a bit much, but you don't want to go right on top of this thing and literally go right around it because it's going to try and heal the edges. So I'll drag it out. Now, by selecting transparent, it's not going to look very different if I let go right now, but if I go over here... Check this out. If I want to move, let's say, some pattern or something like that, let go, you'll see what it tries to do. That's actually pretty cool. Now, if I didn't have that big, you know, wine stain or whatever that thing is there, I'd have a nice little blend right there. Let me undo that. One of the last things with the patch tool, it's really cool. If I click and drag, find a good area, I let go, you'll see that oh, I've got transparent turned on. Let me turn that off. I apologize. Uh, let me undo. Turn transparent off. Drag over. Let go. You'll see it's there, it's doing a good job, but sometimes you want a little bit of the underlying content to show through. So if you go right now under Edit, you'll see that we have up here Fade Patch Selection. So as soon as you drag it and let go, you can do this and check the opacity. Now that allows me to even change in some instances the blending mode, depending on what's going on. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So you can see a little bit of the stain there, click OK, and there we go. Deselect and we've got ourselves the patch tool. Just a couple little quick tips for working with the patch tool.